Once again, life from Marino, let's go. Today we're talking about country life versus city life. And today I'm explaining the pros of living in the country. You see? <laughs> let's go. You see, the city life, you have to depend more on the grocery stores, the supermarkets, and so on to survive with your food and stuff. But in the country, it's what you make it, you know? Let's go get some free natural fresh alkaline Jamaican spring water. Fresh to my earth. No need to go to a supermarket when you're in the country. And that's the pros of living in the country. Right here, you see? Natural. Oh, banana tree. Sorry. You know what else? Fresh fruit tree. You know what else? Custard. That wobble, that zoom clown, it's filled with food. Vitality, life. That's the beauty about living in the country. So basically we save a good probably $200, $300. I'm not sure how much these water costs down here at the moment. Aki, which is a Jamaican national dish, grows everywhere. Most of the time they cook Aki with sawfish. If you're a vegan, you can cook it by yourself. You can make it with mushroom. You can even make it with seaweed. Here we are, here we go. Get the I've been coming to the Sprung all my life and I can remember back in the days when it used to be food with nothing but water. All this plant was never here. And the water was way much deeper. We have a whole community. They come over here and they take a shower. They fill their water. Some people wash their clothes. You know what I'm saying? They provide for us. So we always give thanks before we take this water. Beautiful mother nature. All right. <clears throat> so now when we get in this water, some people might say, that's nasty. You're taking water from out the earth. You're drinking it. Isn't it dirty? Are you gonna get sick? Are you gonna die? No, you're gonna live longer. You're gonna live longer. The natural mineral from the sun Everything, it's clean. People been drinking this water over a hundred years. The water never hurt nobody. This is the process of getting the water. Find a hole and go low. The closer you is, the cleaner it is. Let that baby bubble. Bubble, girl, I bubble. Bubble. Bubble, girl, I bubble. <laughs> Once it's not bubbling anymore, I mean mission accomplished. Put the top on. <laughs> Hand it to the water boy. I'm just playing, that's my cousin. <laughs> Hand it to my cousin. <laughs> Another one to go. It's sad how deep this water used to be and how low it is now. Just like the water in the pipe hole. <laughs> the bathroom. Everything going low. 
Is it bubbling? Yes, it is. When it stops bubbling, that means mission is accomplished. Mission is accomplished. See? No more bubbles. It's filtered, whatever in there you can drink it. Don't worry, you won't die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Guys, you got the water. Fresh water right here. We got the beach right there. So that's the good thing about the country. You can go right out there with your land and your boat, catch some fish to eat, some jack, snapper, pirate fish, all kinds of fishes. You can raise the goat, the chicken, the rabbit, everybody right here to raise something in this community. Pigs, cows, Chicken, goats, rabbits. Some people even raise birds. Barbie doves, pigeons, bar plates. It's all about being a self-sufficient. Did I say that word right, guys? Self-sufficient. Self Don't forget that I'm hard of hearing, so I pronounce stuff how I see it most of the time. Please forgive me. I make a music video off a banana tree. That's a, that's, a, that's a mic in nature right there. We have a lot of rappers come and produce a song right there on the banana tree. We have people that catch fires. Most of the time they catch the fires to eat. Other times they catch it just to dump your trash. Please be aware that when you're burning the trash and you're burning fires, to get rid of the trash, you got to try to keep the kids away from it because a lot of people don't realize that it really messes with your respiration system when you burn metals, when you burn plastic, plastic bottles, not to mention some of them have plastic substance in them, like, you know? <laughs> Bleach and gas and some of these stuff is not supposed to be burned or inhaled. So when we're burning garbage, we gotta try to stay far away from it. Don't forget that. It's for the future. It's for the kids. You see the mango trees over there? As I was saying that, a lot of people raise their own food. Now I'm not trying to be nosy, but let's peek in my neighbor yard real quick. I want to show you some chickens. <laughs> You see that guys? Natural, fresh and organic. Farm is chicken. Right. Oh, so I just put that natural alkaline water in the fridge, right? But before I did, I made sure I filter it with a clean rag. Now, you're about to go and get some natural organic juice. And when I say juice, I don't mean just no Minute Maid fruit juice. I mean real fruit juice, you hear me? I'm talking about mango juice, orange juice, soil, cane, carrot juice, sour sap juice, all type of juice. You could meet the juice lady. She's the juiciest juice lady in the world. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna meet her, I'm gonna show you. So, when we eat this juice, when we drink this juice, I feel like it's good for my body. We drive, I feel happy, I feel free. I feel like to be alive. So I'm recommending everybody to have their H3O. You have an H2O and an H3O. We want to make sure we have that too to keep our body balanced out. You hear me? So let's go see the juice lady.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is the juiciest juice lady in the world I was telling you about. It's juicy, natural juice. Right before you come to Portland. We got juice with sugar and no sugar. We got, like I said, cane juice. We got carrot juice. We got sour. We got sour flax. What else? Plum, apple, melon, apple, June plum, carrot with ripe banana, uh -huh. mm -hmm. carrot with dragon oats. How long have you been world. selling juice? Huh? Um, from last year. Year or What's your favorite juice that you like to try? Well, I'm like plum, I'm like kind of sour. That's my favorite too. <laughs> so right when you come so to St. Mary's, when you leave St. Mary's, and right before you get the party, you look on the right hand side. If you want to know Instagram or WhatsApp or whatever content, you can tell them the content so they can make I'm gonna have the best peanut punch. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Peanut, peanut punch. Peanut punch. I the mean, peanut, peanut, peanut oats, dragon, supper <laughs> magnum, rum cream, pumpkin seed, sesame seed. Wow. Works. Take my money. Take my money. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. I'll tell you. So, this is really good. Let's Mm -hmm. One them and uh, I got a star earlier, I had a single punch yesterday. Do um, <laughs> you have any little drink them? Yes. You have two of them? Yes. Please, thank you. Natural organic first June plum with ginger. You have some with sugar, no sugar, whatever you want. Juiciest juice lady got you. <laughs> Oh, that's carrot right there too? Carrot, no milk? carrot and red banana. Yeah, that's straight carrot. That's my favorite juice. Man. Carrot and red banana. Oh, how much for that? Straight. That's straight carrot. Is that three? Apple? Three. I wonder if I should try that one. Let me try the carrot and red banana. Because I already had this. I it, could drink all three if anything. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of this before. Carrot and ripe banana. I'm gonna give you a review and let you know how it tastes. <laughs> this is my new favorite juice in the world. <laughs> Carrot. And banana. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. I'm not exaggerating. Carrot and banana. Here you go. Uh, try it. Mm. Juicy. Carrot and banana. Here you go. Try it. Juiciest juice lady in the world, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um. Alright, we did.